in the morning. We saw the path there on the map of the total yeah. eclipse, the 100% yeah. zone. And Josh, you're saying most of that zone will be cloud cover or in a storm. Uh, yeah, it, it's not looking the best forecast for anyone really across and, and the country. And can you imagine the people that spent hundreds and thousands of dollars yeah. to travel to get to those hotel rooms? Yeah, uh, they're going to be scouring to try to catch a glimpse of it. And maybe you might be doing the same thing. This is a look at Monday morning when the eclipse, the partial eclipse for us here in western Oregon and Washington will fall overhead. That's where about 26% of the sun will be covered by the moon, but we'll have to fight through some of that cloud coverage as well. And of course, the most coverage will happen right around 1125 on Monday morning. The entirety of the eclipse will last about an hour and 46 minutes, and it all comes to an end by about lunchtime or just after that when the sun yet again shines, but likely above the cloud coverage as it will do so for much of the country as well. We got a few pockets out towards the Arkansas area. Southern Illinois, Indiana also likely to catch a bit of a glimpse of it as well. But if we were to see an eclipse today, well, you'd be able to catch a bit of it today at this moment in time as we see a little bit of that sunshine now raining down along the Vancouver waterfront. This view courtesy our Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera as we currently sit at 46 degrees out of PDX, likely seeing those clouds slowly break apart through the rest of this evening as those temperatures slide back into the mid 40s after we managed to put a couple of raindrops into the bucket, amounting to a couple of one hundredths of an inch closer to a quarter of an inch out towards Troutdale. But you'll notice over the past several hours, a lot of the moisture is slowly coming to an end, and that means the colder temperatures will start to work their way into the valley locations after a lot of thunderstorm activity happens along Interstate 84, the border of Oregon and Idaho, all thanks to this lay slow pressure system that is now on the move, tracking its way over the Rocky Mountain states, but it leaves behind a cool pocket of air. That's why we got that frost advisory in effect early tomorrow morning, just as we prepare for yet again another cold front to swing its way through the area just in time for the weekend to keep those rain potentials alive and well. Here it is all timed out. There's those clearing skies with cooler temperatures tonight into the start of the day tomorrow. We'll see a few hit and miss showers into the afternoon hours, very similar to what we saw today. So not a super soaker event, and that will also be the case for Saturday as our next front starts to slide through during the afternoon hours, filling up our rain gauges in addition to what we've already seen to about a tenth of an inch to maybe a quarter for some lucky folks as those cooler temperatures keep the snow elevation level right around 1500 feet. And this is all good news because over the past 24 hours, picking up an additional couple of inches for our ski resorts, helping to keep those base layers healthy. Now tonight in the city, 38 degrees is where we expect to fall to tomorrow afternoon. Much warmer. 57 is our expected high and a beautiful sunset in the works out towards seaside where our UV index this weekend right around three or so as it's slightly on the wetter side for Saturday and a Sunday. But for Friday, 53 degrees looks pretty nice. Seven day forecast does show that the wet weather comes to an end just in time for the partial solar eclipse on Monday here in the city. As those temperatures approach 60 degrees, we'll go ahead and try out the 60s. Tuesday, Wednesday, and then why not just bump up to 70 degrees one week from today on Thursday with a mix of clouds and sunshine. So just a few more days of the wet weather before we start to dry things out. Yeah, let's keep that train going. I know. It's mm -hmm. nice to see. Okay, thanks, Josh. Yeah, we'll be right back.